those of you not familiar with dry fire, dry fire is a unique practice tool for clay and game shooters. It is used indoors with a real gun and projects realistic targets. It saves time and money and it is guaranteed to improve your results. So say our users, currently around 8,000 worldwide. Dry fire became part of the WordCraft portfolio on the 1st of February this year. As software developers, we have taken the product and completely rewritten it in a sophisticated, up-to-date software code that we can now build onto with new and user-friendly optional modules. The base software is now running on version 4 and forms the basis of Dryfire. This includes everything you need to get started, supporting all known clay disciplines. The Dryfire user interface is very easy to navigate. Everything you need is here on the main screen. Once we have set up the shooter and gun, we can then select a layout to shoot, and there are many to choose from, including sporting, skeet and trap disciplines. Target trajectories are mathematically generated based on how the clay flies, and remember that the laser target represents the leading edge of the clay, so lead must be applied. Here we have English skeet, and this is the view of the layout. Now we have Sporting Mixed. We also have the choice of selecting to shoot the whole round, all targets, or we can focus on one target at a time. To release the target we call Pull, or we can use the spacebar on the keyboard, or use the optional foot switch. Now we see Olympic Trap Doubles layout. Finally, this is the Trap Starter layout. It is important that we align the gun before we start to shoot. This is to calibrate the laser fire from the muzzle insert with the software. This is the only time we use the gun as a rifle. By aiming straight at the laser dot on the wall, we can set and verify the alignment. The uniqueness of dry fire comes from the immediate feedback of all shot results. Oh. Following each shot, we see the results in both data and graphic form. The graphical representation shows us the clay and the shot string. The statistics include the pointing error, which is the distance between the centre of the clay and the centre of the shot string, the time it took to take the shot, and what distance the clay was hit. All invaluable information to any shooter. On the left hand side of the screen we have the scorecard and scores are shown next to each target as they are shot. A green box is a hit and a red cross is a miss. It is also possible to replay previous shots with dry fire as all shots are logged in the system. You can then use this information for generating reports with Report Generator, an add-on software option available to all V4 users. It is important that you set up all shooters by name and eye height. The number of shooters you set up is unlimited. Once the shooter is set up, you will need to add the gun properties. As you can see, this requires a little more information than setting up the shooter, but again the number you set up is unlimited. Gauge, muzzle velocity, shot size and weight are just a few of the gun properties which need to be edited. Additional custom chokes can be added to the system too. It is also important to add details regarding the barrels. Is the shotgun a side by side or an over and under?
It is possible to select any gun for any shooter within dry fire, as you may have two guns per shooter and even share guns with another shooter. Setting up the system is very straightforward. Remember the more accurate the details we input in this area, the more accurate dry fire will be. Voice sensitivity controls the volume of the microphone on the simulator, so that if you are in a quiet room you can keep this setting low. Camera exposure can be set to suit your room's lighting conditions. The simulator settings are where you can input the measurements for the room you are going to use dry fire in. In advanced settings, we can even go so far as to accommodate sloping ceilings, as we have many users shooting in attics. The pattern board shows the point of impact of each barrel and the effect of different chokes selected from the system. Once you have set up your gun, you can confirm that it shoots the same as it does on the range. To do this, you use the pattern board. If you have patterned your gun on the range, you must pattern it on dry fire too. In the video, we are patterning both our trap and sporting gun, first and second barrels. <laughs> 